hi guys welcome back to cs technology uh, today guys we are going to discuss use callback hook guys okay how to use that and what are the benefits of use callback hook guys so completely guys we are going to discuss on that and additionally guys we are also discussing uh, what is the difference between use callback hook and use memo hook guys we are going to discuss that okay so first guys i will be uh, creating a use state here guys so for creating use state you can take simple guys so you can give any name here guys i will be giving addition set tag in the use state oh, see guys this is a use state guys already we have discussed that earlier how to create that okay so initially i have given the zero now guys i will be creating a button for that So inside the button i will take on click so that we can click on that button guys so we can increase the number guys okay set add plus one so for displaying guys we can take here h2 inside the h2 we can function add guys now we'll see the output i see guys u state is working perfectly guys there is no issue in that okay yeah guys use state is working perfectly now guys uh, i will be creating a component for that for creating component guys you can take new folder here you can tap anything com new com button component will take button component or jsx so you can give any name guys so just i have given ex for example so quickly we'll do basic setup here function return so now you have some more extension also guys you can use uh, that extension so that you don't need to write this thing so automatically it will come guys by writing refs okay so i don't prefer that so manually guys we need to write guys okay export default button component so, yes. so just this thing we need to import here guys okay so for importing you can just type import button component so we can call inside this yes guys now we have imported so just to display that you can take console here console.log button component you can write anything here button component. So now we'll see that see guys the which we have created button component is working fine now okay so now guys so we can see you guys so there is no connection between this button and this button component guys right but you can see the output here guys if i click on this button you can just refresh the page see guys one time it's uh, got re-rendered the page so it's okay guys because we have refreshed the page if i click on this button guys see still it's working guys the component page right you can see that see guys in future guys if we have a more buttons guys in any live project so each and every time guys if the page is re-rendering like this user might get a loading issue guys to avoid that we need to use use memo guys so we'll use use memo so that we can uh, prevent that page guys okay so for using use memo you can just type memo and you can just keep it in the bracket guys so that's it guys now we can see that you can just replace the page now guys it will prevent see guys only one time it has uh, re-rendered if i click on this button see now it's working perfectly guys. if you have a hundred button also you can work on that the page never reload guys okay uh, now guys we'll go for next step so in case if i create any new function here guys you can create any function i can give button component you can create any function guys i have given just button component inside i will be writing any code guys okay some code you can take so this this button component guys i will okay we need to take arrow function here
yeah guys so this button component i will pass as a property guys so we have passed this property so we can just pass here so guys that's it guys okay so we know already how to pass the properties guys. now we can open that guys. just we have created a function now so we can see the output now guys we can refresh the page we can see the difference guys now okay so each and every time guys if you create any function how the react js will work guys we can see that you can just see guys if i click on this button again its page is re-rendering guys again and again right so to avoid that guys we need to use use callback hook for that guys so this is a main important guys why we are using use callback hook guys so that it will prevent the page guys it will not allow to re-render in the page guys for using callback hook we can just guys after the function you can just type here use callback that's it guys so inside this you can just take this code you can paste it here guys now guys you can write any code here guys inside this function the page never reload guys if you can see that you can replace the page okay still it's because we have not given here guys we need to just give empty square bracket guys okay now we'll see that see guys if you have a n numbers of button guys if you have n numbers of function you can use that the page never uh, reload and user will be not getting any loading issue guys so this is how guys basic the react js will work guys so if you have a more than one button guys you can take the example i will take one more button here so just i will give add one set add one and i this one guys you can make it 10 and we can guys take one more button here just change this add one and add one for displaying guys you can see guys i have created two buttons now here right so you can see that you can repress the page see guys both the button i'm pressing the page is not re-rendering guys okay in case uh, if you want to give manually guys to allow any uh, use state has to be work inside the use callback guys so in that case guys manually you can just pass here guys so if you want to give for add one you can just write it here add one so you can now see that guys for add one guys if you click on add one button so the page is uh, re-rendering guys automatically we can see that so guys button one is not working see guys the page is not re-rendering if i click on this button guys the page is re-rendering because we have given manually access we have password here guys so that that is guys how we are going to use use callback hook guys so this is a complete use callback hook guys so if you have any doubt guys kindly comment here so i will be resolving that guys for next class we are going to discuss all the important hooks guys in single video we are going to discuss that guys so that's all guys today class if you like my channel kindly subscribe and follow all my videos thanks for watching